All right, quite a lot of students ask me about this round table question. So, yeah, let's see how to solve it. So, the sitting position of the eight guests at the round table must be fixed. All right, so what we want to do here is they ask us a they ask us to determine the number of different uh, sitting arrangement that can be obtained. So, if we have a round table here. So what we want to do is um this round table can only uh, put about eight people. So we know the round table formula is basically n minus one factorial. So it's quite simple. So this the, for a is just eight minus one uh, factorial, and then you should be able to get the answer easily. Just type your calculator seven factorial, and then you will get about five zero four zero way of arranging them. All right, the difficult part is about b. So they, they say given that two couple want to sit next to each other separately. So determine the number of possible sitting arrangement here. So over here we have uh, two different couples. So let's say I will group the couple together or something like um, let's say this is uh, first couple. I'm going to call C1, C2 for first couple. And then yeah, we'll do another couple. Let's call it them C3 and C4. And then we have another uh, four more people. Let's say we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. Example. So all of them going to sit like this. So right now, uh, what we will do is, since the couple must be together, so what we will do is, we, I will group them as one. So let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now, six, six of them actually want to sit at a round table. I will just use the n minus 1 factorial methods so i will just say 6 minus 1 factorial however we know both of the couple can swap place among themselves right so like for c3 and c4 this one is about 2 factorial and then for c1 and c2 is another 2 factorial so basically what you need to do right now is you just need to do 5 factorial uh, 5 factorial multiply with 2 factorial and 2 factorial time 2 time 2 you'll get about 480. All right, so basically that's all for A and B. Okay, so let's add one more C by myself. So let's say both couple must sit side by side, must sit next to each other, next to each other. All right. This one is slightly different. So first thing is, let me put a circle first. Okay, let's say, if like this, I will just uh, fix a first couple. Let's say call them C1 and C2 here. All right, so therefore, for C3 and C4, they can either at left-hand side or right-hand side, isn't it? So it's either uh, C3, C4, it's either here or this one, C3, C4. Okay, so for this couple, C3 and C4, they, there's two way among them, isn't it? All right, if this person sitting here, so another four of them going to be uh, somewhere here. So it's like either like one, two, three, four. Okay, so how are we going to solve this case? So I will just fix the first one first at this position. So both of them can swap place, so it's just two factorial. All right, then we will just count something like one. Um, okay, I cannot do something like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do six minus one. If like that, then there's possible some random people will sit beside me, which is not the couple. So what we want to do is, okay, this two factorial is for the C1, C2, is two factorial. And then another two factorial for C3, C4. And then both of them can, can swap place, right? So this one will be another two way, or you can call it two factorial, it doesn't matter, or two. All right, and then four of them going to be sit, uh, sitting here. So it's another four factorial, that's all. So it's basically, is four factorial, multiply two times two times two, is 192. So in this case, you don't need to worry about um. How about the clockwise rotation and anti-clockwise rotation will be the same because this is human. So we no need to do something like uh, divided by n because we actually learned about this formula like divided by n. 
right? So normally we will use this formula for thing. But if you want to arrange a human, I will just fix one of it first, and then I will just put side of them. So if like this, if like C3, C4 is over here, so it's still the same. So you, you just will do two factorial times two factorial times four factorial. And then this, if what if the C3, C4 at here, then you still do a 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 4 factorial. So basically you realize it's double of it, right? So therefore you multiply another 2. Okay, so this is how we will solve this kind of complicated round table questions. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.